So I got another little gadget to, to review today from IC Station. This one's a USB meter that'll measure all aspects of your USB connection, voltage, current, lead resistance, everything. Let's check this out. Got another little gadget here from IC Station Tolercat today. Let's open this up together. It's sealed. It's a USB meter. What could this possibly tell us? Well, it's got a couple of buttons on the side. As you can see, it's 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 just a circuit board that's got a couple of uh, pieces of acrylic screwed down to it. It's open on the sides. But what can this tell us? Let's uh, find out. So to start, I'm going to get my USB. I got a USB power supply here and we'll plug my USB power supply into power and then we'll plug this unit into there here we go now it's on and it's going to measure the amount of current that's being drawn the instructions are obtainable by downloading or scanning the QR code and downloading. I'll read the technical parameters. Has a voltage measurement range of 4.5 to 24 volts. Current measurement range of 0 to 3 amps. A capacity uh, accumulation range of 0 to 99999 milliamp hours. And for the energy accumulation range, 0 to 99999 milliwatt hours. Load impedance range of 1.5 to 9999.9 ohms. It'll work from minus 10 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius. They're saying 0 Fahrenheit to 200 Fahrenheit, but that would actually be 212 for 100. It's got five screen brightness levels. Voltage graphics range from 4.5 to 24 volts. Voltage measurement resolution is 0.01 volt. Current measurement is 0.001 amp. And it's accurate to plus or minus 0.2% for voltage and plus or minus 0.8% for current. And it says auto screen off in one to nine minutes, which you can reset. And here are the, here are the different screens that it will show. So it has measurement mode, quick charge, data recording, it'll check your data connection cable impedance, voltage graphing, current graphing, settings, etc. Let's play around with some of the, uh, some of the settings on here. We'll play around with some of the menus here, but hit the help button. It tells me if I want to rotate the screen to the left, I can press this button here. If I want to rotate the screen to the right, I'll press that button. That'll turn the screen this direction so that you can have this thing whichever way you are facing from the USB port for reading it. If I go to next, it will give me the different readings. So this is my milliamp hours, milliwatt hours. And it's actually recording this, so you can actually download uh, software and dump the data from this. Next one here is going to show me 5 volts here, um, nothing on the line, because this is charging a battery. Um, this is also not a data cable, this is a charging cable, only equals so R equals 0, 0, because it's not a data cable. Here's our graph. I would imagine if I disconnect it, it should show that it, it, there's a little spike there when I disconnected the device. Here's our charging.
current. I think this phone is probably fully charged now. That's why it's not going to charge anything. And oh, we can change our brightness on here as well. Press and hold to move to the next one. See, this changes the brightness. It's all done with this next button. Press and hold. Moves me Fahrenheit or Celsius. And then back up to the display. Press and hold. Press and hold. That's how you advance. Some people just don't get it. You tell them they're busy, and that gives them an idea that they're going to start sending you constant messages. Drives me crazy. Hit the next button now. Again, the next button cycles just through the different settings here. So let's try plugging it into one of these battery chargers now. This thing will draw a little bit more current to charge up a battery. As you can see now, it's charging at about an amp, which is, I think, the rating of this uh, of this charge of this charger here. So here's our our graph. So 800 and about 820 milliamps, and this shows me how many watts and how many milliwatt hours it's drawing. And the cable is six point, looks like 6.9 ohms is what the cable is measuring, which is kind of neat. I'm gonna charge up my battery pack there. I could, uh, I don't know if I get another cell I could put in there, but I could put another cell in this charger. I wanna try this on a high voltage charger. So this one here is a 9 volt charger for use with the newer phones. Of course it won't kick up to the high voltage until I actually plug in a device that supports USB-C. So here's my S9 phone. This should communicate with this uh, USB-C cable. It'll communicate with the charger to tell it that it wants to charge at a higher voltage, which it did. This one is now charging, as you can see, at 9.18 volts at 1.3 amps. And of course it's using QC 2.0 to charge. I also have this little RAV power this is a fast charger, a fast charging wireless pad. Let's just see whether this one will also go up to 9 volts and charge at the higher voltage. Or whether this one just charges at the lower voltage. This says it charges at 9 volts. Let's find out whether it actually does. doesn't appear to be charging at a faster charge it's still only got 5 volts but it is charging using QC 2.0 mode so it's charging at 5 volts but it's still in the higher current mode but it's not in the higher voltage mode as it was when I was plugged in directly As you can see, it's kicking up to about one and a half amps here. Charging at 1.38 amps, but it's still only running at five volts, at least with this cable that came with this charger. But on here it says it accepts nine volts, as you can see, it says Input 5, 2 amps, 9 volts, 2 amps, output 10 watts maximum. But as we can see, clearly, the meter doesn't lie. It's charging at 5 volts. If I plug the phone in directly using the supplied cable,
it switches up to 9 volts. It may be this cable, even though this is the cable that came with it. It may be this cable is limiting the charge voltage to 5 volts. Anyway, that's a neat little meter. For those that want to know how their USB health is, it'll tell you everything you want to know about USB. There's the graph for 9 volts and the current. I can actually think of a, 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 something that this little meter will actually come in useful for when I'm doing load testing and I want to see how much power we're really drawing over USB. As you can see, off this battery pack here, I'm drawing 2.4 amps. And so this little meter that I've now got is actually going to come in very useful when I do tests of battery banks, chargers, all the works. For example, the other charger that I just received. This one here. We can see how much power I really am going to uh, To draw on a port. Two point five nine, and here's our voltage. A little more accurate than measuring at the actual resistors themselves, because then of course I've got the load of the the wire, the resistance of the wire that will drain it. Now we can look at this and see that this, this wire has two ohms of resistance. And this is the current. I'm pushing 2.4 amps. As you can see, now this little module, when I measured it yesterday, uh, I think I was pulling about 4.8 volts. Well, the reason I was pulling 4.8 volts is I was measuring the voltage down here at the end of the wire. And of course, we have internal resistance of the wire of two ohms. 5.16 is what this is putting out exactly as it claims. I think this little meter is going to be quite useful for testing out USB power devices that I'll be running some tests on going forward. Anyway, neat little unit. Link to this is in the description. Came from IC Station, as did this uh, buck converter uh, unit. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one real soon. Bye for now.